plan. Um, today I thought we we would do some uh, coasters. I love these um, Fort and Chicxigon coasters. And I usually make like um, four pieces and I try as much as possible that each has like a different um, look. Um, so it's not really boring. So what we're gonna do today is I'm gonna use like two colors. Uh, I'll put a third just, um, so this is like, a, no, and, and always they're covered in the back. So, uh, you know, the back is always clean. Uh, whether I wanna use it as coasters later or I wanna do something else with them. Uh, but I always um, try to just um, keep it clean or have a clean finish. Clean. Yeah. Now, today um, I'm going to use this Papio acrylic and it's um, green, iridescent green, blue. And in addition to that, I thought I will, I want kind of lively color and I want contrast. So this is a mix of three yellows, um, golden, Golden Benzimidazolone, Yellow Light, and Primary Yellow from Liquitex Basics. And something else also, but I don't remember uh, what is the, the third color that I put. So, but it's, I thought the contrast should be good. And um, I have Interference from Color Arta. Uh, interference green and you can see that it's like really really thin but I thought I will just drizzle some I'm not gonna use it as a layer and let's see um, so I love this color guys it's just like I can't have enough of this and um, yeah We'll see what happens. So, this, uh, the pillow is color to go from Sherwin Williams. And, um, and I'm gonna use a white cell activator. Um, I kind of want a, a, a light, uh, you know, uh, scheme today. Schema. <laughs> okay, so now let's start with, and I might do just two or four, we'll see. I'm trying to get my videos to be short. <laughs> and um, I'm new to video to, to um, videoing. So, I end up having more, you know, having more like longer that uh, piece than I want. Big, very <laughs> <Really> big. <laughs> those air bubbles because I just also mix them sometimes. Mix the paints and make it those. So, so I'll just drizzle. I don't want it to to affect the uh, uh, the liquidity or like the viscosity of the all the paints since it's it's thin. Um, no. No. 
<laughs> so this is what I use for um, swiping. And let's see now what, what we come up with. And put those colors together. Do you see some? <laughs> I kind of forgotten that I have to be at this vision, you know, field. Actually, I I took some of the pillow paint with me, so we'll see how much how many cells I get. But oh wow, this looks very nice. And I try as much as possible to get uh, some paint, and sometimes I use it for for a small piece later, or and also to keep my field my station <laughs> is like a uh, clean you know okay so look at this oh my god this is so beautiful you know I just love the combination of colors and that each color also cut its own in some cells so now let's see how we we're gonna tilt this guy. I haven't done this for a while now. Oh God, I don't know if I should show you this, but then I will not be able to see. But at least, you know, you, you kind of wanna be careful with these guys. They are slippery and So, so now I'll try to be, to see if you can also see this. Of course you get better as you make a lot of them. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's been a while since I dealt with these small ones, but now, yeah, I'm gonna keep the edges clean, but you can't. <laughs> so one more edge to go. Okay, and then what you do is just, you wanna make sure that all the edges are covered and also the sides. And sometimes also you wanna check the tips. Some some of the tips might uh, lose their color while you're um, tilting. So, I love it. Uh, another thing you should do is to, of course, make sure that you, uh, you know, take the drips off the edges so that you don't lose the form. Of course, that applies also to big pieces, especially. <laughs> so. so. I like that it's yellow, green, yellow, and then uh, at this side, like it took the, uh, the color of uh, green and blue. And of course, each one will have um, a unique look. So we're gonna do, maybe we're gonna do a, a set of four. And of course, I always keep this ready um, so that I can just transfer my piece. Okay. 
Now to the second one. And I think this time I might not use the interference screen because I think it's affecting the, the yeah the piece. So I would rather that I use only the two colors. Now I just I don't know if it's the experience of the other artist, um, but I noticed that if I do uh, swipes, that my paint should be a little bit towards the thicker side. Uh, that way it keeps a form. And um, that's a, at least what I noticed. But I don't know if it's a universal. Uh, you know. Uh, agreement. Whatever. <laughs> Sorry about my my uh, and my brain it is trying with three languages so <laughs> sometimes i find myself talking with with in english and then i have uh, another language uh, popping out now it's a thin layer so where i want to uh, swipe I added a line there, um, and that way you have enough of uh, uh, pillow. So now what I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with, with yellow. And actually, you want to start from the middle, because I mean, at the end, you might lose the colors that go to the to the edge and they go, you know, you lose them. So I usually try to start from the big, the middle and I go, you know, towards the end. A small detail, but, you know, especially with a small piece like this, I think it's good. I forget it sometimes, but Maybe now that I'm saying it, I'm going to remember more. So, I think I'm going to add more. I love this color. Okay. So. So again, this is what I do with my my uh, cell acti activator. This way, I don't lose any, <laughs> especially with this with the Australian uh, uh, float roll. It's like a white white gold. It's like when petrol was. Uh, was found, it was called the black gold. <laughs> now this is like the white gold. Okay, so I'll try as, as much as possible not to take a pillow paint with me. And also, you have to actually press a certain way. And sometimes the level of where you do the swipe affects how much pressure you put on the piece so um a lot of factors play uh, a role in into this technique i was doing all of this on my kitchen uh, island and it's higher than this so you get to more kind of better alignment. But still, it's not bad. I mean, you got some cells. Um, like I said, sometimes it's, it's different from the last one, right? So now tilting. So I start tilting from this side where I started. Get that yellow and that green and all the uh, fuss there. <laughs> first and then actually as you lose that 
and then you kind of reach to the level where the cells are you want to get back and do tilting on the other way and you have to de decide which angle you want to start first uh, so depending on the form that you're getting you know so and i keep moving it so that i don't lose the cells that i made so now now i don't want to actually go straight to that angle because i don't want to lose these cells i want to go to the area where it's empty and i want to fill it up first so All right, so we're done with this angle and this angle, and now we have uh, almost only one angle to go, so not bad, huh? And if you find like this area is a bit uh, not full, you just touch it with your finger, and then you're good to go. So now, you know, unfortunately, we have to touch the tips. And then, we'll try to go to lose some cells here. I love the colors and I love the cells and I don't want to do anything else. Um, I think somehow um, the pillow was not sometimes enough and then you don't want to actually to tilt and keep tilting. You have to make sure also that uh, this these edges are full of paint and uh, I mean covered with paint and then that's what I'm doing now. Oh God. Oh God, this is, what's going on? Okay. So. And again, you go with a toothpick. And you clean the edges. Oh, this is, I'm actually happy that this has happened. Sometimes while, while you're going with a toothpick, you might actually ruin the design. Um, that's why you have to be careful and make sure that it goes all under the edge like by half a centimeter in this small piece and and make sure it does not ruin your design so here is I'm trying to correct like where the toothpick went that's the second one and off it goes to They're so small that you, you really, <laughs> what did it take in a fall? Oh, but it's 19 minutes. Okay, so I think that is enough.